Well, happy post-holiday season from the LPGA. I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year's break. Before we let the holidays get behind us, we've got one more gift to unwrap here at the LPGA. We're gonna announce this week the launch of a whole new season-long race concept on the LPGA called the Race to the CME Globe. It's pretty exciting, and it's gonna start in January this month at the Pure Silk Bahamas Classic in Atlantis. So let me tell you a little bit about it. The Race to the CME Globe. It's a season-long point race. Throughout the year, you'll be accumulating points as players all season long. Points are awarded at every official LPGA event. All events have equal points, except for majors where the points will be slightly higher. At cut events, we'll award points to players that make the cut. At our non-cut LPGA events, we'll award points to the top 40 in ties. And at very small fields, in this case the Lorena Ochoa Invitational, we'll award points to the top 20 in ties. The bottom line is all season long, players will be adding to their point total. And why will they be trying to add points to their total? Because that's how they'll get into our season ending event. You know the Naples CME title holders? It's gonna go through a couple of changes in 2014. One in name, the CME title holders is now gonna be called the CME Group Tour Championship. Now, let me tell you about what's the same and what's different. What's the same? We're still in Naples the week before Thanksgiving. We're still playing for a $2 million purse over the course of four days couple of changes. The winner's check will be $500,000, not $700,000, so that the pay distribution will be a little more normal and a little more in line with a regular LPGA event. Qualification. So how do you get in? Only two ways. Win an LPGA event during the regular season. If you win, you're in. The rest of the CME Group Tour Championship field will be based off of your point total throughout the whole year. So essentially, how you perform and how many points you accumulate over the course of the entire year will determine whether or not you get into the field in Naples for a $2 million purse. But what else is going on in Naples? So we're playing that event four days for a $2 million purse. We're also going to play to say who, see who raises the CME globe at the end of the day. There'll be two things going on Sunday at CME. One will be the, TM, the CME Group Tour Championship. The other will be the, the culmination of the race to the CME globe. So we'll accumulate points all season. At the end of the Lorena Ochoa Invitational, we'll determine who gets into the event. Once you get in the event, the CME Group Tour Championship, we'll reset points, but not to zero. You're gonna get the more points depending on how you finish. So the player who has the most points throughout the season will start the CME Group Tour Championship with more points than the player in second, all the way down to 72nd. We'll be playing for a lot of points at the CME Tour Championship. So to win the globe, it's a combination of the points you have when you start that event and the points you have when you finish. The, um, the bottom line for this whole thing is we're going to have a, a theme that runs throughout the season. How you play all year, not just at one event, will be critical to not only getting in, but competing for the million dollar CME Globe Prize. If you think about Sunday CME, or that Sunday in Naples, we're gonna, we're gonna have three mega checks going on. Somebody's gonna raise a $500,000 check for being the winner of the CME Group Tour Championship. Somebody's gonna raise a million dollar check and that crystal globe and say, I just won the race to the CME Globe. And Wounded Warriors, our charity concept throughout the whole year, will raise a check of somewhere in the neighborhood of $200,000 to $250,000 by, by being a part of the race themselves. You see, the last little twist to this whole thing is what we're calling Wounded Warrior Weekends. Every weekend on tour, starting in the Bahamas and ending in Naples, Eagles pay the Wounded Warriors project. Every Eagle on tour in 2014 will generate $1,000 to the Wounded Warrior project. Weekend Warrior project means weekend Eagles. At CME Group Tour Championship, that $1,000 goes to $5,000, so $5,000 for every Eagle. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing in the neighborhood of a quarter million dollars going to our partners at Wounded Warriors Project as well. The CME Group Race to the Globe. Let's race to get into the CME Group Tour Championship. And let's see who raises the globe at the end of the year as the player who showed throughout the season and in the season finale she was the best on tour. Should be exciting, should be fun. Please join me in saying thank you to the CME Group for making this such a special event. We're gonna be doing this for multiple, multiple years, which is really exciting. And we're gonna announce it soon to the national media uh, from New York. Hope you guys enjoy it. For you mathematicians, you'll be getting a letter from Heather that can kind of explain it in a lot more detail. But the bottom line for you is play well, 
make cuts, accumulate points, and I'll see you in Naples. Have a good one.